In the realms of history, few figures have left a mark like Napoleon Bonaparte. He conquered vast territories and reshaped Europe, but he also had a fascinating faith journey. Napoleon's life began on the island of Corsica, where he was born in 1769 and was raised in a Catholic family. As he grew older and ventured into military studies, Napoleon was exposed to enlightenment ideas and an intellectual environment which was critical of religion. This challenged the foundation of his faith, leaving him torn between the beliefs he grew up with and the allure of enlightenment thinking. Amid the chaos of the French Revolution, he wrestled with doubts about the role of religion in society. During this tumultuous period, Napoleon was rising through the ranks of the military. In the early days of his rise to power, Napoleon's ambitions knew no, no bound. With an iron fist, he pursued his vision of a unified France, often at the expense of the church. During the revolutionary fervor of the late 18th century, he saw the Catholic Church as an opponent to his plans for a centralized state. So churches were closed and clergy were persecuted. Despite numerous concessions made by the church, Napoleon remained determined to assert his dominance. His lavish coronation at Notre Dame Cathedral in 1804 served as an ideal opportunity for him to humiliate the Pope. Traditionally, popes had performed formed the crowning ceremony for Holy Roman Emperors, but Napoleon used this occasion to display his authority by taking the crown from the Pope's hands and placing it on his own head, symbolizing his assertion of supremacy over the church. This act signaled a growing power struggle. In 1809, as part of his expansionist ambitions, Napoleon ordered the annexation of the Papal States, which encompassed significant territory territories in Italy, leading Pope Pius VII's rejection of the French Emperor's actions. In response to the Pope's resistance, Napoleon ordered the abduction and imprisonment of the Pope in 1809. So the Pope was taken to Savona and later to Fontainebleau, where he endured almost six years of captivity. On January 25, 1813, under duress, Pope Pius VII was compelled to sign the Concordat of Fontainebleau, surrendering his temporal sovereignty. However, shortly after its enactment, the Pope started to retract the concessions he had agreed upon in the document. Tensions between the French government and the Vatican would continue to linger until Napoleon's eventual defeat and the restoration of the Papal States to the Holy See. Following his defeat at the Battle of Waterloo, Napoleon was exiled to the remote island of St. Helena, where he remained until his death. During his ex exile on the island Napoleon turned back to his faith. He lamented not having a priest to cater to his spiritual needs. He said, it would rest my soul to hear mass. He confided to one of his followers on the island. Moved by the emperor's plea, Pope Pius VII petitioned England to grant Napoleon's wish. And as a result, the Abbe Vignali became his chaplain. Under the spiritual guidance of Abbe Vignali, Napoleon experienced a renewal of faith. On April 20th, 1821, he expressed his desire to embrace the Catholic religion again, stating, I was born in the Catholic religion. I wish to fulfill the duties it imposes and receive the succor it administers. He enjoyed religious readings, particularly from the Old Testament, the Gospels, and the Act of the Apostles. During his conversations with Las Casas, chronicling, chronicling his life on St. Helena, Napoleon spoke warmly of Pope Pius VII. As an old man full of tolerance and light, he acknowledged that fatal circumstances had led to the tensions between the cabinets, expressing regret for the conflict that had arisen between them. In May 1821, Napoleon Bonaparte passed away, leaving a legacy that encompassed not just military conquest, but a fascinating faith journey. His transformation from a persecutor of the Catholic Church to a penitent seeker is a captivating story, with a lot more details that, than could be mentioned in this video.